Hi guys! My name's Gemma, welcome to my latest YouTube video. It is a lovely sunny day, finally, where we are. Uh, so we are going to go out sourcing. We're going to head to a local town near to where I am, a town called Chesley Street. Never ever been there sourcing before, so we'll see what it's like. I'm obviously going to take you guys along for the ride. Um, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed guys, that we're going to find some really good items to be able to flip and uh, sell on eBay for a profit. As I said, I've never ever been uh, sourcing there before, so I'm really not sure uh, what to expect. I will try and film as much as um, I go along. I will be honest, I've never ever filmed. Um, outside never vlogged outside before so it's a very very steep learning curve for me so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to get some good footage for you whilst i'm out and about i have literally got 23 pounds in my purse today i don't carry um cash normally i do have 23 pounds cash in my purse today and um, we um a couple of weeks ago when we went to a local cash and carry they were selling trays of monster energy drink um on special offer for i think they were seven pounds fifty and uh, i bought a couple of trays put them on facebook marketplace and sold them for 13 pound each hence why i've got 23 pounds in my purse so i am going to try and take that 23 pounds today see what stuff we can find and see how much profit we can make on ebay so keep your fingers crossed we are in the green machine today which is my car uh, i'll show you that a little bit later on uh out in the green machine uh, it's lovely and sunny so let's go here we go guys the first charity shop of the day the british heart foundation let's get inside Hopefully we can find some items that we can flip on eBay for a profit. Due to COVID-19, face masks are still mandatory inside of buildings in the UK. So you may see some people with face masks on. So just taking a look at these denims over here. Nothing of great value. No brands or anything like that. Nothing that really caught my eye lots and lots of clothes inside of this store it was quite overwhelming as to how much clothing there was actually inside thought i'd pop over and take a look at these shoes i spied some um shoes on the bottom that i thought were converse but they actually were not so just taking a look lots of ladies summer shoes obviously it's coming into summer or supposedly coming into summer in the uk so hoping to be able to find um some nice shoes there wasn't any So here I actually go back to the cabinet because I did see some Wii games in the, the cabinet and a steering wheel for the Wii. Uh, those games, I mean one was priced at £14.99, the other at £19.99, just really uh, not worth buying at those prices, uh, not much profit to be made um, on eBay. This charity shop um, had some nice items in the cabinet, clearly knew exactly what they were. Uh, there was. Um, few little toys and some games over here which I thought I'd take a little look at. Some children's books, nothing really that caught my eye, no kind of collections or full series that I'd want to maybe buy to, to pop on the eBay. The music was quite loud in this store and um, so that's why I've had to turn the volume down and um, don't want a copyright strike from YouTube. Again, taking a look at these books, and these were all British Heart Foundation toys, so nothing of, uh, of value there. Just having a quick scout at the books, see if there's any, you know, series or collections uh, that we could maybe pop onto eBay as a bundle. Some great toys and some great puzzles here. Um, if it had been last year in the middle of lockdown, uh, they've got absolutely loads of puzzles up here, I would have maybe uh, snapped those up, but now... Not too much um, need for people with jigsaws and puzzles, unfortunately. This store had quite a lot. Some little knickknacks, nothing of great value, unfortunately. My only purchase from the British Heart Foundation, Easy Learning French, £1.99, selling for between £10 and £12, free shipping on eBay. So a little bit of profit to be had. Over the road 
road we go to Hope, hoping that they have some bargains inside that we can get for our haul today. Never actually been inside a Hope before. Nice and clean and airy and it actually smelled really nice inside, which for a charity shop can sometimes be a little bit rare. For all this was a large store, I didn't feel like they had a lot of choice. I know it does look quite filled, but some of these rails were really empty. I did, however, find a nice pair of ladies, nice lovely blue Hollister track pants, really good condition. Look these up on eBay, selling for between £15 plus shipping. Uh, so I'm going to pop them on for £20, free postage and turn on best offers, see what I get. I'll tell you a little bit about this shop later guys, books and bread for Kenya, very very interesting. On the way back down the high street we popped into PDSA, did find a couple of nice little finds in here, the complete series, second and third series of Doctor Who, both $3.99 each, look these up on eBay, both seem to be selling for about $17.99 plus shipping, so I will pop these on eBay. About £19.99 I'm going to pop them on for free shipping. I like to do all of my items with free shipping. So we are back at the house guys. This is everything that we've bought today from our sourcing trip. Uh, I'm very well aware that you haven't seen all of these items that we've purchased today uh, but I will explain that uh, and show you the items in more detail and tell you what I've paid for them. So all in all guys from today's sourcing trip we spent a grand total of £18.96. So I'm very much aware that you didn't see all of those uh, purchases that I made today. Um, as I said earlier in the video, there was that uh, books and bread for Kenya shop. That was very, very interesting. I'm so sorry I didn't take you along uh, with me guys in that shop. I'd never... Um, even seen that before um obviously uh, i am quite local to uh, the town centre where it is so uh, i have walked up that up and down the high street before and i didn't actually realize that that was a charity shop it wasn't until i was on the other side of the road that i saw the sign and thought well, that is a charity shop i'm gonna pop in um it looked very busy from the outside and when i popped inside it was kind of a little bit like mary poppins uh, carpet bag there was just stuff absolutely everywhere it was so tiny the ladies in that shop were absolutely lovely bless them they were they were beavering away moving stuff on the shelves and um, trying to get new stock out all the time and there was just so much stuff in there to look at it was packed floor to ceiling with stuff. Uh, there was quite a lot of clothing in there, little knickknacks, um, what I would call bric-a-brac, so a lot of China, China. There was some plates, there was, oh god you name it, it was in there. So I didn't actually turn my camera on in there, it was quite small and there was quite a few ladies in there. Uh, I think you were only allowed four or six in the shop, it was that, with obviously the Covid restrictions, it was that small. So um, I will run through some of the items that we bought from the, I think it was called, called Books and Bread for Kenya, or Bread and Books for Kenya, Bread and Books for Kenya anyway. So the prices were very, very cheap in there and I found it quite hilarious that ladies were just uh, making the prices up off the top of the head when the lady went to the counter, just charged her. 25p each for some ramekins that she bought so I thought I was going to get a good deal in there They had lots of um, CDs and DVDs and audio books sadly they were on cassettes or I would have maybe have picked those up uh, but I did pick up a little few items from that shop so I will show you them now <laughs> I just wanted to explain a few of the items from Books and Bread for Kenya. So we have the Collins Speak Spanish um, 
kind of like an audio guide and it's got um the uh, the books and the online resources with it a little bit like the um the french audio uh, book that we got um from the heart foundation so this was in the dvd section no i noticed there was a sign up saying three dvds for a pound um, I wasn't sure whether she was going to class this as a DVD or not so um, I did double check with her when I got to the counter to see if she was going to charge me um, the three for a pound. I had already picked up another two items um, for the three for a pound. I'll be honest I didn't really want them i just picked up something i thought well if it's three for a pound i may as well get some other items to go with them so i picked up this um ds game the site training um it's um in really good condition it's got all the manual inside and um, typically they don't retail for a lot of money themselves anywhere on um on ebay between two pounds fifteen and four pound free shipping um they do sell better as a pair so there is another one called i think it's um focus training or something like that so there's a game similar to this so i'm gonna keep my eyes open and see if i come across that in any shops lately there's always loads of ds games and um, because they sell better better as a bundle um so i'm gonna keep that i might be, maybe it might pop it on ebay for maybe it's four pound free shipping in the meantime uh, but i will pop that on um so i've got that one and i also got the friends um complete 10 series dvd and um, there wasn't a great deal of um, dvds that i really wanted to pick so i just went for something that i thought would maybe um sell they are selling for about two pounds 50 free shipping on on ebay but I haven't got a lot of money into these so I wanted the speak Spanish and um, so I got all of those for a pound so less than 40p an item can't really grumble at that guys and um, and then I did come to the um, kids book section and they the kids books were um three for a pound and um, so I did see and um, I wouldn't normally pick up books and um, but I don't want to say I was struggling for items but I was very conscious that I hadn't bought a lot um, and I wanted to kind of make the most of my trip I suppose. Um, so I did see these Horrid Henry's kids books and um, I saw that there was five and I thought well I can bundle them up, sell them on eBay as a bundle and um, somebody would probably quite like them, put them on for free shipping and um, this typically sell for about two three pound um, each so I thought I'll pop them onto eBay as a bundle um, bundle of five um, and that um, so obviously there was five of those and it was three um, three books for a pound so I picked up this Spike Milliken Silly Verses for Kids books. I don't know why I picked this up. Um, I don't think it sells for um, a lot. Um, so anywhere between prices were really really random for this book on eBay. Anywhere between two pound all the way. Some people had them listed up to ten pound. Um, Spike Milliken. I don't know what made me pick this up. I opened the front cover, um, and if I can see it there, it says. Um, published in Puffin Books 1968. I don't know whether you can see that. So I picked this up and I thought, oh, it's quite old. Um, I pick it up. I haven't got a lot of money into these guys. So as I said, it was three for a pound. So these were both two pounds. So all in all, for the three DVDs and the six books, I paid three pounds. Um, so I mean, I'll not be lo losing any money. Um, it, I just I don't think they'll fly out it was the speak Spanish that I wanted I saw the kids books and thought actually I'll be able to bundle those up and maybe pop them on eBay so um they're not going to be great money spinners those but I haven't got a lot of money into those items and um, so less than 35 pence a book and less than 40p for the for the DVDs so I'll not be losing any money on those guys and um, so I will be taking another trip to that books and bread for Kenya shop and um, I loved it I didn't really have a lot of time to look loads of things up and there was so much stuff in there and as you were taking items off the shelf they were restocking all the time so i think that will be a shop that will always every day will be different i mean obviously you'll get your same bits and bobs that'll be in there but i think every day you could go in there and find some new items 
The other items that we bought today, you've already seen in the video, but I will just run through those again for you guys. So we, the best buy from the day is probably these two Doctor Who box sets. So we've got the complete second and the complete third. So they are brand new, still sealed in the wrappers. I did look them up whilst we were in the PDA, uh, PDSA. They typically retail for uh, £15 plus shipping on eBay. I do like to pop my items on eBay with free shipping. So I'll pop these on for 19 99 free shipping. Open up Best Offers and see what I get. I'm not yet on the global shipping pla uh, program with eBay. It is something I'm going to look at. So I do just ship to the UK uh, at the minute. So these will go on for 19 99 free shipping see what we get from there so that was probably the best items of the day so as you also saw in that first shop the British Heart Foundation where we went to we picked up this Collins Easy Learning French so I'm not expecting this to fly off the shelves it's, I'm expecting it to be a bit of a long item and um, hopefully as um, the world starts opening up and we'll be able to get on an aeroplane and go somewhere um, once the Covid restrictions have opened up I'm hoping somebody's going to want this um, might want to learn a little bit of French for the holidays how to open, order the beers and stuff like that so I'm not expecting it to fly off the shelf but um, I've pop, I'm going to pop this on eBay for between um, for probably about £12 free shipping. Uh, they typically sell anywhere between £10 and £12. I paid £1.99 for this. Um, so I'm going to pop that on with free shipping, put on best offers, see what I get from there as well. And last item of the day are these lovely ladies Hollister track pants. Um, absolutely i mean lovely colors bright blue with the red logo down the side these are a ladies small uh, paid 5.99 for these uh, look these up on ebay i mean it's a branded name they should definitely sell um look these up on ebay they sell anywhere between 10 pound plus shipping 15 pound free shipping so i'll pop them on for 15 pound free shipping turn on best offers see what we get from there Worst case scenario is these never ever sell and I'll just keep them for myself and I've gotten a nice pair of branded leggings and um, joggers uh, for £5.99. So potentially from our sourcing trip today we've spent £18.96 so I had £23 for a budget, I didn't spend it all. Uh, so I spent £18.96 and working out probably get around about 72 ish pound on ebay i know it's not breaking the bank it's not a great money spinner but from just having such a spending such a small amount 18 pound 96 we can then put that 72 pound into buying some other stuff on our next sourcing trip so i hope you enjoyed our first sourcing trip out charity shops this time who knows what it might be next time it might be getting a wholesale palette or doing some retail arbitrage or who knows i'm keeping my eyes out open um, for new deals all the time i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like please consider subscribing to the channel um, the, I've got loads of um, ideas planned for videos lots of source and trips and stuff like that so I'd love to take you along for the journey um, so please consider to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one <laughs>